I want to dive deep into you're moving from the army into being the CEO of Mahindra companies. Now, what was your thinking at the time? Were you nervous? Were you, you know, I've never done this before. How, how do I go into this? And once you did, what were a few tactics and, and strategies that you learned to help translate from industry to industry or role to role? So, of course, I was nervous. I, I think, uh, honestly speaking, I've been nervous whenever I've taken on any uh, any role, whether it's a CEO of a, a, a startup or a CEO of a big joint venture, which is getting together, I have been nervous. And I think that's a healthy sign. I, I think uh, before that, I, I mean, a healthy sense of nervousness, uh, I, I like a sense of anticipation, like a sense of like something that you get when you go on stage to speak to people that I've, I've spoken uh, uh, several, several times, but each time I go on to stage, I have that healthy sense of uh, anticipation mixed with a sense of uh, fear. What if things go wrong? I have that sense. And I remember many years ago, I met a, a very, very famous uh, uh, public speaker. And I was uh, speaking with him and, and uh, you know, we were exchanging notes and I was telling him that, you know, despite so many years of uh, and he pointed out something which was very interesting. He said that uh, the only uh, people who are not afraid when they go to speak in front of other people in, in, in public are either people who don't give a you know, damn about their audience. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn how they perform, whether they're liked, not liked, whether the session was good or not good, whether the audience wasted their time or not. They don't give a damn. Or they have to be clinically insane. It's only these two uh, categories of people who will not feel a sense of apprehension before they take on something new. So that to my mind is a very good signal. Uh, when, when, when you have that, you know, sort of a little bit of a palpitation, it's a good signal to tell you that you are stepping out of your comfort zone because it's only in your comfort zone that you don't feel nervous. So I think feeling nervous before taking on any assignment is a healthy sign because it tells you that you acknowledge that you are trading into a non zone, which means uh, you have to ask for help, which means you have to be vulnerable, which means to a certain extent you will uh, not be stupid enough to assume that you know it all and, and therefore you will ask questions and therefore you are less likely to make uh, uh, stupid mistakes and more likely to leverage the organizational uh, tribal knowledge as well as uh, get cooperation from a lot of leaders uh, who are working with you because they believe that you're the sort of a person who will say, I don't know, and therefore will ask rather than I will tell you how it needs to be done, which kind of assumes that I know how to do it. So I think, <clears throat> I think that's a good thing. The second part uh, about, there are frameworks, of course. Uh, leadership is all about uh, using inadequate information to take decisions which will be reasonably good. That is what uh, leadership is all about. Uh, if, if you, and, and usually those decisions are not between a right and a wrong. Those are easy decisions. The tough decisions are between one right and another right or one wrong and another wrong. And over a period of time, you collect, uh, just like a chess player, uh, over a period of time collects uh, a, a assortment of moves, an assortment of patterns, an assortment of, uh, you know, sort of plays and uses the sequences of those plays, adjusting them, mixing them together as per the situation, I, I think you start gaining those experience. Of course, they, you gain them at, at a great expense, sometimes at an uh, expense of making mistakes. At other times, you learn it from uh, others. Uh, and and uh, I, I think once you have this repertoire of uh, solution frameworks, uh, you are able to spot uh, what could be a, 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 an issue and and... Uh, put together these uh, uh, plays, so to speak, leadership plays, and, and create a, a solution that will see you through, even if you are not very familiar with the domain. So to that extent, I think these frameworks do help. That, that's awesome. And I really want to go back onto the point where you're about to step on stage and you have nerves. It's an hour before or six hours before, a day before you're nervous. It's a big presentation. You know, even before these podcasts, I always get a little bit of a jitter. You know, what, what if it goes awfully? What if, you know, the questions don't come out right? What if the, the rapport isn't there? So there's always nerves. Is there anything in the moment that you do? Is there self-talk? Is there breathing exercises? You know, what do you do right before stepping out 
to, to get and calm yourself down. So I'll give you an army analogy. It's an interesting one. And I've used this analogy for many, many principles in my life. It's slightly technical, but I think uh, since you are interested in the army, you will understand it. So many years ago when I was a cadet in the academy, and uh, we were being taught, amongst other things, how to fire weapons. And we had a weapons instructor, uh, Colonel Zakaria. He was from the Madras Regiment. Uh, I'm talking about a good 30, 35 years ago. And he taught us the basics of uh, firing a weapon. <clears throat> and he taught us something which I think is a very important principle in life. Uh, so, of course, he was teaching firing, but I think that principle can be applied in many things. So basically, I don't know if you've ever fired a weapon, any weapon, maybe an air gun also, but essentially mm -hmm. what needs to happen is you align three things. You align the rear sight of your rifle to the front sight, foresight as we call it, and then you align it to the target. So there are these three things. There is a foresight, there is the rear sight, which is the circle, and then there is the target, and it's your job to close one eye and just align these three and then press the trigger. And that's the basics of uh, firing a weapon, and whether you're a marksman or... Uh, you know, an ace uh, shot. This is the fundamental principle. You basically are able to align these three things together. So he would often tell us <clears throat> that your job as a good shot or a good fighter is basically to take one look at the target and then align the foresight and the rear sight and just make sure that the foresight is bang in the center of the rear sight. That's all you have to do. Now you forget about the target. The rationale was very simple. The rationale was that if you kept the foresight in the center of the rear sight, and even if your rifle moved an inch here or an inch there, but if the foresight moved away from the center, that one millimeter difference will translate into several hundred feet by the time the bullet reaches the target. So to translate that, yes, it's good to have jitters uh, six hours before, four hours before, right before the podcast, whether the rapport will happen, this, that, or whatever. You can have that jitters. But when the session starts, your job is to make sure that the foresight and the rear sight are absolutely aligned and nothing else really matters. So I think the ability to be nervous, be anticipating, be, be apprehensive, but when the session starts, when the talk starts, when your mission begins, when you go into the raid, when you come back, you have to be totally focused on the moment. Think about it. Last time when you were, let's say, jumping over a ditch, just think about it. Maybe as a kid, you were jumping over a ditch. So you took off from this side and you're going to land on the other side and your foot was out there and you were looking at the edge. At that moment, you didn't think of anything else. In that one moment when you were in midair, you did not think about your problems at home or what your folks said. You don't. Have, you just thought about landing your foot at the other edge because if it didn't land, you'd fall into the ditch. As simple as that. So I think there is a room, there is space for apprehensiveness in any any walk of life. But once you begin the activity, once the the light goes on, three, two, one, light. At that moment, uh, you have to have absolute focus on just centering the foresight and the rear sight, which means in that frame, giving it your 110% focus. By and large, I think that uh, works uh, pretty well.